out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, man. We back. Good fella Sports TV. Um, wasn't sure if I was gonna get to this video tonight, but I found time to get to it. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Appreciate the love and support. This is on the real, real, real serious note right here, man. Um, I'm not sure uh, how aware of people around about the rematch of Rob Brent and Ryota Murata. I didn't. I knew it was this week, but I didn't know it was gonna come on this early. I didn't. I didn't even think I knew it was in Japan. But I want to bring something to light about uh, fighters from America, or just you know, the, you know, Canada, America, everywhere, Puerto Rico, Mexico, everywhere around the North American region. About going overseas and why it's so important for the fighters uh right here just in this this little even if it's just the uh the country United States why it's so important for them to know that they need to uh they need to do their own thing in boxing they need to have their own their own belts and their own you know the sanctioning belt bodies and they need to really just close in the fences here because it's a, it's in my opinion it's a dirty game uh going around overseas and you're not going to get a lot of people talking about it. Everybody want to talk about the superficial shit in boxing, which is which is cool because you do it for, you get the views and you cater to your audience and nothing wrong with that, you know. Over here, I, I kind of want to talk more, you know, deep boxing, you know what I'm saying? More hardcore boxing, man. And that's what we're going to do here, but I'm going to kind of give a quick review of the Rob Brand Rod uh two rematch. I linked the source the video in the description on the source link. Um had a whole fight, I think with two rounds. Um, and, you know, Murata just seemed to come out there and be a stronger fighter. Um, you know, uh, Rob Brandt tried to use his lateral movement and, and that threw off, uh, Murata in the first fight. Murata is a gold medal winner and, um, he tried to use his movement and, you know, he tried to use his jab and his straight punches, uh, to keep Murata off. Murata was just taking his punches and just, you know, um, just eating them and just walking through, you know, and, and walking through his movement, amazing stamina, amazing everything. And he would just, he just walked it down. He beat Brent to the body, worked upstairs. And, you know, he was, his, his he was phenomenal tonight. You know what I'm saying? He was, you know, throwing great combinations and every punch he damn near hit Brent with had a major impact, it was a major key. And he pretty much just wore Brent down, backed him into the ropes, backed him into the corners, the red, white, blue, green, orange, yellow corner, even color corners that wasn't there. And he just, you know, pretty much dominated him, dropped him maybe a couple times, stopped him. And, you know, that's the end of the story. Now, had that been the first fight, I don't think I would be having this, 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 doing this reaction. But he was amazing. He was sensational and phenomenal now in the first fight, which we might have forgot because I know it was another fight on that night. But that fight was in Vegas. And Rob Brandt dominated Murata, you know, 12 round decision. He couldn't do nothing with him. Uh, over in Vegas, all of a sudden the fight goes back overseas, and Murata is phenomenal. Now, usually in this situation, this happened last October. Now this fight happened July. Now even the calendar year later, Murata was talking about retiring after his defeat versus Brent in the first fight, not the rematch. My thing is here, okay? Andrew Ruiz would be dumb as the days is long to go back overseas. It's no point for a fighter to go back overseas no more. Uh, other other than you have Anthony De Andre Durrell that tried to get the belt from Frotch, obviously he got robbed. Errol Spence got the belt from Carol Brook. Timothy Bradley got the belt from Junior Witter. But it's time to stop that shit, man. Real talk. It's time to stop stop that, man. Because at the end of the day, yes, more um, PED offenders get popped in America because this drug testing is more strenuous and it's more strict. And don't forget the guy that robbed uh, uh, Tevin Farmer at first, uh, Kenichi Ogawa, I think his name was. He failed the drug test when he came over to America. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it, it's, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge, huge, huge difference in drug protocol. You got guys getting performance enhancing drug exemptions. You got guys over the seas and, you know, they sit there and act like they fighters good. All of a sudden they come to the United States and they look human. They look normal. They look beatable. They don't look like King Kong or Godzilla no more. 
You feel what I'm saying? All of a sudden, they come to the United States and, and, and they just, they come to the United States and they just are fragile. They're not strong no more. They, 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 they barely ordinary. You know, and they playing a dirty game. They playing a real, a real, real dirty game. You know, and, it, and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that it got to be that way. But, you know, one of the guys, uh, Michael Benson on Twitter, one of the, you know, he's, he walk, work for Talk Sports. He's supposed to be like this insider, really, he's just a guy that shared a ton of boxing news like everybody else. But it, it he, he brought up, a, he brought up a fact. He brought up a fact that, that, um, hold on real quick. Miles, get down. Miles want to play. He brought up the fact that, oh, you know, Anthony Joshua, they can bring the fight over to the UK and maybe Anthony Joshua can have a similar performance to Murata did tonight and, you know, a rematch. And I'm saying like this, man, obviously, if, if, if Anthony Joshua come out there and walk through those very same punches with Weez Hindleman with Master Square Garden in the UK, he obviously on some shit and everybody has already had their opinion if he is and not on nothing. All of a sudden, he come over here. And he's been struggling with stamina his last few fights in the UK, but he ain't had no stamina, no jaw, ordinary coming over to the United States. You know? And now and now and now that's the now, you know, you go back to the if he go back to the UK and just destroy Andrew Ruiz, everybody gonna be like, oh, it was a fluke. No. What the what the real situation was is that he was cheating. Point blank period. The real situation is these dudes can get away because the drug pro uh, protocol is different. They can slide somebody a couple dollars overseas. They can, they can, you know, they can make, you know, they can make a guy go away. They can get us, uh, somebody else specimen, uh, specimens or, or they pee in their urine and, and exchange it for their self and all that type of stuff. You know, you see them, man, he pack y'all. He find, he fight in Malaysia. He don't fight in the United States. He get a stoppage. He get a stoppage in Malaysia. When he fight Lucas Matisse, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm an American fighter, I'm refusing to go overseas, man. You know what? I'm refusing to go overseas after seeing what's happening. Now, your average, your average fight fan or your average fighter probably don't know nothing about Rob Ra- Ra- Brandon Mariota. Your average fight, fight fan probably can't even tell you the top 10 heavyweights right now because they just, you know, they just so caught up in their career, but they need to go ahead and bring awareness to what's going on, man, because... It's a lot of shady shit going on, man. It's a ton of say, a shady shit going on in boxing, and, and this this just reeks of shadiness right now. This whole fight right here reeks of shadiness. The Anthony Joshua situation looking phenomenal in the UK, and then he get to, get to get tested in America reeks of shadiness. And and what the United States fighters need to do is get together, you kind of form a maybe an unofficial union. You know, pick a couple, pick, if you want four belts again, or you want three or two belts, get demand and sanction and belt bodies, uh, station eight headquarters, like the IBO and the IBF in the United States, so they can be held accountable, because when they're not held in the United States, they can get away with shit that they, they, they can't get away with while they still here in the United, while they've stationed in the United States. That's why they're stationed in Brazil or South America and Switzerland and Greenland, they stationed all outside the country. Because they can get away with certain things. They don't want to be stationed here. You take the IBO. You take the IBF. Maybe add a belt or two if that's what you choose to do. And you you run with those belts. And to be honest, every fighter outside the United States, if they want to come here and make money, well, you know, and being in the top 15, well, they got to sign up. They got to get with the drug protocol. And, and they got to take they got to take testing, you know, uh, under our, under our uh, protocol. Because they going overseas doing some shit and they getting away and just to get an edge. And Rob Brandt, you know, he got played. I don't care what he, what he got to say. He quiet. They slid him a bag for being, 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 for being, for being quiet. Ain't no drastic difference in no year like that. Ain't no, ain't no difference in no year like that. The guy who got beat talking about he was thinking about retirement. All of a sudden he come back like he Bowser and just plump, just plumbing through Rob Brandt. And of course, when Rob Brandon in enemy territory, he's not gonna say nothing. He probably say something when he touched down back in the United States. But the same Andy Ruiz faces similar fate. Andy Ruiz faces similar fate. 
if Andy Ruiz, all right, if Andy Ruiz go over to the UK and fight Joshua, Joshua's going to turn into a fucking universal soldier. Joshua's going to turn into superhuman. Joshua's going to be throwing a thousand punches, eating eating, eating uh, um, um, Ruiz punches like it ain't nothing. And so just know all the fighters that's from the United States that got to go abroad to make money, just know you got an uphill battle when you go over there. And they want to make it, make it seem like they want to uh, kind of, you know, uh, reflect like it or make it seem like we the ones that's that's doing all the doping and we the ones that's doing all the balco and the cheating and, and, and the snacks and stuff of that and the stuff of that nature. Yeah, we getting caught because it's a tough protocol, but you guys getting caught when you come over here. Billy Joe Saunders got caught when he came over here. They don't talk about when, when, when Tyson Fury got popped and they slid that shit under the rug. Him and his cousin both got hot, caught hot for the same thing. They said, oh, we ate wild boar. No, you was a cheater. And still let him fight Vladimir Klitschko in Germany. Six months later, they was a, he was notified that he had an adverse test. And then, you know, people said, why you don't want to write Vice Klitschko? Because he knew that he was going to get suspended for that test. So he he faked like he had a cocaine, mental illness, and, and they let him get away with it. But he got the complexion for the selection. He got the complexion for the protection. They ain't doing that for no brother. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and nobody talked about how Fury, you know, he tuned up twice. And then he waited to the very last minute to get in the vital drug testing program versus Wilder. He waited for that, sh the, allegedly, that shit to get out of his ass. You know, but hey, this is what they got. This is what they got to do to beat us. Real talk. This is what they got to do to beat us. If you you really think every every dude that that tests hot that that Vada really telling saying that tests hot? They not even testing everybody. To be fair, the first time they tested Canelo Alvarez in in Mexico is the first time they popped. He popped hot. He usually go to San Diego or Colorado Springs to train. And the first time they tested him in, in, in Mexico, he popped hot. So you really think if somebody pop hot and Oscar sent a million or Heyman sent a million or, or, or Eddie Hearn sent a million that they ain't going to wipe that under the table or, or, or a tester show up? Because, you know, Vada don't always do the testing or USADA. Sometimes they hire a third a third party company that's cheaper for everybody to do the testing. So you getting paid half of what Vada USADA get paid, if that and, and, and somebody say, oh, he go 100,000. You know, just take my boy urine and piss and say I did it. You think that, that ain't going on? You think that ain't going on in the situation? You think uh failed test ain't going on? Somebody sweeping it under the rug and, and paying for it? You think ain't no Lance Armstrong thing going around? American fighters have an uphill battle. Going overseas. You know, they you better be they better be careful. They better be careful. Because this stinks right here. This fight reeks of, of uh, it stinks. Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn trying to drag that fight back to the UK. It reeks. It reeks. It reeks of cheating. They want to act like, you know, we the ones that's doing all the cheating. No, we got the strenuous drug test. But hey, it is what it is, man. Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request, appreciate the love, support. Let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Please do. I want to uh, hear feedback about it. But don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products, lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair part made, much, much more. They got you covered. That website, promo code in the description. Get that 18% off. And yeah, man, let me know, man. This is the last video I do for a minute. Appreciate the love and support, man. But yeah, man, I want to talk about stuff like this, the tough topics, man. So, y'all got any more video requests, you always can email me or hit me up on social media. All my links in the description. Appreciate it. Good Fellow Sports TV. One time.